What up, what up? We got another waiver wire video. This one, we are breaking down the wide receivers. Hit subscribe if it's your first time here watching on replay. Also got IDP waivers, defense and special teams waivers, and all the positional waiver wire videos. So go check that out. They'll probably be popping up at the end. I got eight wide receivers to mention here. And depending on your league, we'll see who you got to pick up. Pick them up. Let's get down to biz. The flavor of the week is obviously going to be Quentin Johnston. Obviously. He's only 8% rostered. Went up against the Panthers. Only had six targets, five receptions. Had three receptions last week. So he's not going to be an ultra target monster. Efficiency is going to be his friend. And they go up against Pittsburgh this week. And... I don't know if he's going to have a super efficient week against Pittsburgh. You could pick him up if you want, but I don't think that I would be picking him up and playing him. I would just be very cautious about Quentin Johnston because he can't catch. He came down with a few, but he's going to disappoint. I just already feel that, but he is the big flavor of the week. Only 8% rostered, got those two touchdowns. Everyone saw him whoop on the Panthers. So I know people are going to be picking him up. I'm going to say be very cautious with Quentin Johnston. Now, just like the running back video, if you watch that, we got some ugly options. And I got another ugly option for you here. Adam Thielen, who's only rostered in 25% of leagues. He's been trash so far, but a lot of that trash is because of his quarterback play. And now Andy Dalton's actually going to come in and play and be the starter. And when Adam Thielen and Andy Dalton connected last year, it was way better than any other time that Adam Thielen was playing last year was the time when Andy Dalton was his quarterback and Andy Dalton's coming back. So I would say pick up Adam Thielen if you can. Pick him up! And ride him for this Andy Dalton wave because it legit could be just like two or three games like it was last year. But we got to do our due diligence. And Adam Thielen probably got dropped in so many leagues that he's available in your league because now only 25% rostered on redraft Yahoo League. Here is another wide receiver who I would say pump the brakes on. Like a lot of people are going to be super hyped about Yoshi, Mr. Andre Ayosivas, a.k.a. Yoshi on the Bengals. He went up against Casey this past week, had two touchdowns, only four targets, two receptions, seven yards, but had the two touchdowns. Now, I love it if you were starting him and you happen to get this production, but I doubt it because he's only rostered in 7% of leagues. Probably wasn't even started in that many leagues at all. So don't chase these two touchdowns. It'll be the death of you if you try to chase things like this. So don't chase it. I, I would say pick him up. Pick him up! Because they're going up against Washington next week and Washington is so trash that everybody could do something. And then they also have Carolina, like right after that. Might not be the best, but he has two really great matchups coming up over the next two weeks. That's the one thing that you can lean on with Yoshi right now. We're going to continue with the ugliness. I'm going to Jalen Naylor here. Nine points in week one, 14 in week two. Had a touchdown in each of the first two games. Not crazy yardage, not a bunch of crazy targets or receptions. But if anything is going on, with Justin Jefferson, because we already know things are going on with Addison. That's why Naylor has even been a thing over the first couple of weeks. So we got to monitor these Minnesota injury reports. And yeah, Naylor, pick him up. Pick him up. Not sure if we're going to use him yet, but got to do your due diligence. Now here is another ugly ad. He was an ad last week. He disappointed, but now that cup is gone. It's Tyler Johnson that we're talking about for the Rams, for anyone listening in audio speculative ad we know that it's going to be demarcus robinson like he's going to be more than likely going to be the number one guy but tyler johnson probably going to need him no puka no cup you could do a lot worse they got san fran this week and then they got chicago the week after two tough-ish matchups for sure we're sticking with the ugly trend and now we are coming to josh reynolds on the denver broncos denver is probably one of the worst offenses in the league but for whatever reason, Reynolds, he's the guy who's getting the targets over there. He had eight week one. He had five week two. And he had 93 yards this past week against Pittsburgh. They got Tampa Bay and the Jets coming up. Two tough matchups. I feel like they're just going to be trailing in so many games that Josh Reynolds could be one of those garbage time guys who 
you really just you don't want to watch their game because it's probably going to be trash for most of it. But then the last couple drives of the game when they're getting uh, the shit pounded out of them, then Josh Reynolds is probably going to be a guy who comes up with a couple catches, a couple late catches, maybe even a late touchdown. Broncos don't really score touchdowns. though. Now jumping over here, Jalen Tolbert. He is only rostered in 2% of the league, so very available. Nine targets this past week, 82 total yards. They got the Ravens coming up and the Giants after that. Ravens, toughish matchup. Giants, not so much. And Cook seemed like a good pick, but Dak just keeps spreading it around. And I thought that Cook might be the guy who has a big increase in targets because of Jake Ferguson going down. But hey, Tolbert, he's the guy who got the bump in week two let's see could do a lot worse it's only two percent rostered go pick him up if you're desperate pick him up last guy here jerry judy it is very ugly but he was looking solid over this past game and nothing crazy he only had 12 points it was five receptions for 73 yards i guess he had the touchdown week one way better numbers outside of the touchdown from week one to week two and yeah watson sucks <laughs> just like chewy said watson sucks he definitely needs a better qb jerry judy has been plagued with bad quarterbacks ever since he came into the league he's out there working tough he's rostered in 41 percent of leagues that, that probably went down after week one, but readily available. They got the Giants this week. They got the Raiders the week after, and then you got Washington after that. So that's three pretty good matchups for wide receivers back to back to back. And he's averaging about 80% of the snaps. So I think you could do a lot worse than Jerry Judy. So go pick him up. Pick him up. And go check out all the other waiver wire videos, IDP waivers, team defense waivers, all the other positional waiver wire videos. They're probably going to be popping up right now. Click it, 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 click it